So, um, I got Randy here. Uh, he's a trainer that works with me, and uh, he's also now our cameraman. And uh, I got a question several times actually about qualifications. And what I find interesting is that uh, when I was working with the McFitness, it's not the name, but I'm sure you can figure it out. When I was working with McFitness, uh, you know, we had the nice glitzy gyms with the nice mirrors and the big signs and the nice marketing campaign of some elderly gentleman doing a chin uh, push up on his knuckles. Uh, nobody seemed to ask about the qualifications of the trainers. They, did, they just seemed to assume that because it was a large company with a big budget that they wouldn't dare hire trainers that weren't qualified. And actually it's their policy to hire trainers that aren't qualified and give them three months and then make them purchase the qualification that's offered by the same company that owns the gym. So that's kind of ironic. Uh, what our company is actually doing is me, Randy, and Nick have all kind of agreed to the idea of waiting for trainers to go through that process and prove whether or not they're going to be good. And yeah, maybe, of course they have the qualifications as far as the three-day course, but what's more important is they have hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of hours of actually training real people. And that's, in our industry right now, the only qualification that matters because, you know, myself, I've got a... I've got a degree in civil engineering. It's got absolutely nothing to do with personal training. Uh, I've got, you know, a lot of experience in ex-military and then 10 years as a personal trainer and a manager, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but really the only qualification that matters is the clients that I've worked with and the results that they've got. And that speaks for itself. We'll be running a lot of testimonials as soon as we have time to put them up. and. That's the, the common denominator between me, Randy, and Nick, is we all have come from different backgrounds, different work experience, et cetera, et cetera. Some's just high school, some, like for myself, I've got about seven years at university, but what's the same is that we've worked with clients and we've gotten great results. And that's really what you're looking for in a trainer. Now, what you need to be asking every trainer, not just me, is how many clients have you had what kind of results have you had? How can I talk to them? That's the kind of question you want to be asking someone, especially if they're asking you to buy 150 sessions after knowing you for about 30 minutes. My name is Tom Lamb, coming at you from Elite Experience. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.